Let's go. You should always stay focused. You know, as athletes, as people, you know, as people, as human beings, especially as athletes, um, you know, whether it's basketball, football, soccer, any sports, we we have to 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 have ext an extreme confidence uh, in ourselves in order to become the player we want to be you know you want to be you, you want to be the the greatest player who has ever played like at any sports well you need to boost yourself with confidence um you know in your workouts you know training and you know playing the games and doing all the right things to you know achieve your goal because that's what we have as athlete in first hand so we have goals We have aspirations, dreams. We have a mission because there's there's a certain level that we try to reach, right? So easier said than done, of course. But um, if you you follow your path, eventually you will get results. Easier said than done because sometimes we uh, what we call you know peer pressure, bad influences, hanging with the wrong crowd. Um, negative people around us, people that just don't believe in what we do, people that just you no know, don't have any faith in your success, and they continuously remind you that what exactly are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Stop wasting your time. Oh yeah, you're gonna do that. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna do that. You, you, come on, man. You know, we have that around us. We have those types of people around us. And the tough part is it could be your best friend. It could be a family member. You know, somebody really close to you that for some reason is not really buying into what you're trying to do. And as human beings, you know, just not athletes, we love to have some sort of approval from the people around us that you know that that approval gives us confidence and gives us a good boost to to go and do what we dream of accomplishing but if the people around us would be like nah well it's all right well you know what there's other people doing it you, you better be good you better be all right well you know it's all right and you know hearing all those types of comments eventually if you don't have a strong mind you know you know if you don't have a strong mind well you're going to start doubting yourself you're going to start doubting your goals and all suddenly you're not going to be sure about what you're trying to do is the right thing but the hardest part is you know to to silence all that negative narrative that you're you're hearing from your peers from your people that you feel that you're close to because if they don't believe it then you know it's that's their opinion but As long as your opinion counts more than the others, then eventually you will achieve your goal. You're not going to become the greatest shooter if you don't go and practice. And I know, I know, when you when you you you, you watch TV, you listen to the to the to the commentary say that nobody can shoot like Steph. Okay, nobody can shoot like like Steph, but. Can I be the closest one who can do it? Why not? You know? Why not? Steph Curry is the best shooter ever. Okay. But I could be like closest. I could be the closest one to, to Steph. You know? Oh, you're not going to make it to the NBA. You're not good enough. All right. Well, I can go overseas and see what's going on. There's basketball in Italy. There's basketball somewhere in Europe. Uh, Anywhere I can go, there's basketball, professional basketball. I could get paid, and if ever I can do the jump after that to the to the NBA, I can do it. A lot of there's so many options. It's just that let's not stop to what people are saying, especially if it's not something that you know encourages you to 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 continue your 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 your, your journey, right? Because We, it's like social media. We drive on on likes and we drive on on, on thumbs up and comments and, and we feel good about ourselves. You have to feel good about yourself, period. 
whoever's telling you different, all you have to do, you can, you can give them a little nod like, man, all right, you know? Oh, yeah, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You'll see. Or don't. But you, do we really have to care? No, because things can change so quickly that opinions change as fast as a as a Ferrari. It goes very fast. People who've been looking and, and being like doubtful can easily change their opinion in a day. Oh, I thought I thought that you know he was going to crash. He he's doing it. Oh, now you're believing. So all this to say, guys, sometimes there's there's a time when there's a, a time will come. A time will come when you're gonna have to decide whether you do it. You, you're doing it for you, or you're doing it for them. If you're doing it for them, trust me, there's not much satisfaction in that. Because waiting for people to give you a little, you know, a little tab on the shoulder, say, hey, good job, man, you're doing good. It might or it might not happen. So do it, do it yourself. Congrats yourself. Be proud of yourself. And then other people will be proud of you after that. You know, your parents will be proud of you. They'll always be proud of you. But the others, is it really important if they give us they they approve all on things that we're doing? No. If you feel good about what you do, that's all you need. You have a bad game yesterday, you missed some open shots, three-pointers, jump shots and everything, you missed a couple, and then you 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 call your friends and be like, "Oh, I'm going to do I'm going to go and, you know, have a little workout, take like 100 shots or maybe 200 just to get my rhythm up and my mechanics, you know, at the right place. Why? I saw you play last night. You play like crap, man. You can't shoot. You can't shoot. Obviously, you're going to make it to the NBA with a shot like that. Man, yo, me and the other guys are going to gather up and play some PlayStation all day, man. Just come along. Relax, man. It's going to make you feel a little better, you know. You're, you're too tense, man. You don't need that. 200 shots. What? Why? Steph, take, Steph takes 2,000. Did you see the video? He made like 100 shots. Can you do that? No, you can't. Do you really need to hear that crap? No. So you get up in the morning, you pack your bags, and you go do your workouts. If they call you, if they really need you, they'll leave a message. If, not, if it's not important, they won't. So you keep doing what you do so that the next game, you won't do the same mistakes. And you will, and you will nail those shots. It's all about us. And it's not being selfish. It's not being selfish. It's just knowing what's best for us and knowing what you have to do to achieve your goal. That's it. Whoever calls you to say, hey, are you going to work out today? Hey, I'm coming with you. Fine. Because you, you might have some friends who believe in you, who wants to help, support and do everything that that they can to help you if you know comes because you're gonna realize sometimes people they won't share your videos they, they won't like your videos they won't put comments on your videos i don't have like a, a million views on my videos i still do it why because i love it i love talking basketball and i'm pretty sure it's gonna help at least 10 people who will take the time to listen to what I'm saying right now and say, you know what, Coach Max is right. And they're going to do what's necessary to become good players. The rest, do I care? I don't. I don't. And I really hope that you can do the same for you and for your basketball career, your basketball journey. You want to become like this guy in behind my back? Do you think Kobe was listening to people? MJ was listening to people? Steph. Steph. People are like, yo, Steph, Steph, man, you're, you're having a tremendous season. What happened? I had those crazy workouts in the morning during off season. And you know what he said? I hated it. I hate getting up at five, going to these workouts. I hated it. 
Some morning, my wife has to push me off the bed. I didn't want to go. I hate it. But look at the results. He's still going at it. So if he was listening to himself, so, you know, I should stay in bed and cuddle with wifey and play with the kids. Steph would be Steph, but not 100% Steph. But now he's more like 150 Steph. All by himself. And that's not because it's Steph. It's all about listening to the good voice inside of you say you need to go do these workouts go and do your training go and do that and you're going to be fine you're going to have results so guys today's friday it's a beautiful day it's the 19th of march we had good news apparently on the 26th gyms will be open community centers will be reopened so eventually we'll have basketball maybe i'm still waiting for confirmations but uh hey the government said sports is back so eventually i'll be able to have more basketball videos and less of me talking even though i love talking to you guys but we'll have more ball yeah so that that's that's great news in the making still waiting for confirmation so Where are we? We are in the Scorpion universe, guys. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of talking today. I just wanted to give you that. Believe in yourself. And whoever else is giving you crap, don't listen to them. Matter of fact, you can erase their phone numbers. Erase their Facebook. Erase everything. You don't need that type of smoke or you don't need that type of negative vibe around you. You don't need that. You don't need that. We have a mission. And in the Scorpion universe, our mission is total destruction when we step on that court. So discipline on your workouts and your training, your practices, everything. The rest, uncivilized and unnecessary. So guys, put your likes, comments, Tell the friend so it can tell another friend. And hopefully soon I'll be able to bring you some fresh new videos. All right. So, coach is out.